hello, all of you lovely students. Um, I had some questions about people asking, hey, how do we get to the flashcards? How do we download them? How do we do all that stuff? So I thought, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make you guys a little quick video, and then I'm going to send it to you um, because sometimes Zoom doesn't cooperate with everybody. So here is how you get there. Um, you go to CaliforniaRealtySchool.com, and then you go into your courses, right? So this is what your dashboard looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go into principal since that's what um, we are currently studying. And I'm going to go look in here. So here is what your... Um, oh, that's... So here's what your, your dashboard looks like. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom here and you click on resources, you're going to get a lot of different options here. And one of them is going to be flashcards. So now in your flashcards um, area here, you have a couple different things you can do. You can choose, um, I guess you have difference between what you're studying now and your saved flashcards. And if you want to save one, like, uh, I don't really remember abandonment, what it means. I can star it and it's going to save it. So if you go back to your saved flashcards, now you're going to get to your the one saved flashcard. That you have. Um, so let's go back to all of them. You can sort them by A to Z or Z to A, depending on how you want. And if you want to look for a very specific one, um, you can search in here. So we can search for fiduciary. And it's going to bring up the agency flashcard. And I go, okay, well, so agency, what does that mean? Agency is the relationship between principal of the agent. Of the principal. So you have the definition here. Now, here you can see terms in the set here. There's seven terms. Cooperating broker, a broker who finds a buyer for a property list. So here's all of the flashcards that have to do with fiduciary, right? And you can go to the next one. Here's the fiduciary one. And if you click the arrows here, it just jumps to the... the to the uh, uh, the actual term, you have to click on the term in order to get the definition. So we'll go out of there. So this one should be. This one says, "Look, there's 816 terms in the real estate principles uh, set." Now you're thinking, "But Brian, I don't want to study on the computer. I want to take these with me. How do I do that?" What we do is we click on this little printer icon right here. And you click on this little printer icon, it's going to open up a page of all 816 of these in a PDF version. So look, you can see there's 164 pages. So it's a lot of printing. Your printer has to be ready for this, or you have to pay per page if you want to take it to uh, Staples or something like that. Um, but each one of these here, you got abandonment and accession, and then here's abandonment and accession, right? So abandonment is on this side because when you print them, it's going to print this one to the top side. So if you print these double-sided, you're actually looking at, um, so it's actually only 82 full pages, 82 pages of paper. And then you're getting, was that five, I think, on each one? Yeah, you're getting five, you're getting 10 um, flashcards per piece of paper. So there you go. So you can save this here. Click on the print button and it'll print to a printer or you can click on download and then it will download. It'll open up this little uh, guy here. It's a, you know, it's a long, lot of pages. And then you can go ahead and save these to like your desktop or something like that. And you say, look at flashcards, real estate principles, and you can save them. And then it's going to save all of those flashcards to your desktop that you can print later. You can save them on a flat, uh, memory card and take them down to print, uh, Staples or Office Max or whatever and have them printed for you uh, if you don't have access to a printer. Um, there you go. That's how you access flashcards in your student portal. Hope you guys have a great time. Talk to you soon. Bye.